Greetings and salutations and welcome to episode 14 of Project Vegas. So today, as you may be able to see here, I'm running inside the cargo hold of our container ship. And if you are a bit confused about that, you should check out the previous episodes because this is a huge cargo ship. So I am really itching to go back and build buildings and stuff up in Project Vegas, the city district. But we also have this ship here that we need to finish and also the port. But before we take a break from the entire port thing here, I figured we should at least finish the ship. So today I will quickly get these containers done that I'm missing here. I will go to the two rooms at the bow of the ship, get those finished off and I'll finish off the bridge. So for this to not take up too much of the video, I will simply finish these off and we'll go have a look. So just sit tight and in a blink of an eye, we'll go look at what I've made. Here I am on the bridge of our cargo ship, sun setting in the background and everything just looks beautiful, except for in here. So I didn't really do much here on the bridge. As usual, I'll just put on my stuff real quick. So I am probably procrastinating a bit. Um, I haven't really done anything with the bridge here. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but it... I am honestly not really in the mood anymore. And also, I'm running a bit out of time if I want to get this video out in time. But with that said, I did do something in the, what do you call it, the bow of the ship. And let me just get rid of that pesky spider. So here something has happened and it's not really a, I didn't design this out of beauty, although I really like these blocks, but I wanted to have like a storage room for, you know, the valuable stuff. And of course I could have used uh, netherite, but I was not willing to, you know, build netherite blocks and that, that stuff is hard to get as it is, or at least time consuming to get. So I dipped into my diamond reserves instead and built a couple of these diamond armors, put in some blocks and even a few diamonds here and there. And I thought if I wanted to have, you know, valuable goods in here, what is, except for the netherite of course, what is more valuable than diamond and of course your own personal stash. And that's why I ended up putting ender chests all over the place because whoever looks in here would I hope find the most valuable stuff. So this is, I guess, yeah, I guess it's meant to be like a, a small security room. The windows, are, I guess those are more, mostly here for decoration purposes, because I guess if it had to be really secure, you would just you know, wall it off totally. But I like to have like just a bit of windows here. If this was walled off totally, this room would be extremely bland. And I could probably put in some detailing here. I will probably do that once I attack this ship again and doing the bridge, but I honestly just not really in the mood to do more on this ship for the time being. So yeah, this is what I came up with here. Of course, these buttons doesn't really make it safe, but you know, use your imagination. This could be a keypad or something. Then down here, I made a storage room. And I guess I designed what the uniforms are for the people working on this ship, basically yellow and blue. So I put in, you know, some extra helmets and, you know, other parts of the uniform in here. And that's basically it, just a room to store uniforms. And I kind of tried to do some different here with the, to, to, it was like a, just an open space in the middle. So I wanted to put in like, a, you know, some kind of storage here. So I came up with this. So let me know what you think. It's it's quite simple, I guess, but this is indeed a simple room. I like, again, these these uh, blocks here actually are pretty good, I think, for to putting these armor stands on. Like they, they kind of look like some kind of display case or at least stand, I guess. That was basically all I've done to this ship. And believe it or not, but uh, this has it's been quite a few days since the first part of this video, but I've just been 
I've been looking into a different project and I will not really share that with you guys right now, but maybe at a later time, if I know whether or not I'm gonna go forward with that project. But for now, ah, oh, we should sleep. That's a lot of monsters around here. So let's just quickly get some shot eye. And with that done, we can go and have a look at the next, pro maybe not the next project site, but a project site. As I may have mentioned before, oh, there's a ton of monsters here. Let's at least get rid of these creepers real quick. But as I've mentioned before, I was planning to do maybe a casino. And I was also considering to do a Pokemon stadium. And that idea of a Pokemon stadium really kind of stuck with me. So let's just get airborne again. I have a plan of putting one down somewhere in here. And these stadiums tend to get quite big, so I need to make sure that I have enough room. So, But I think it should suffice if I made it around here. So what I want to do is to make like a road leading in to the stadium here with some sculpture or something in front here, you know, kind of to indicate that there's something awesome in there. So I was thinking that I wanted to do some kind of Pokemon related sculpture and my first thought was a Pokeball. And I think that is uh, the one I'm going to stick with. I also considered, you know, doing different Pokemons and stuff. But I think if you want to do like a statue of whatever Pokemon you could think of and you want it to be, you, you need it to be quite big for it to look at least decent. So I think I will clear out this area a bit and then I'll put up a Pokeball. Maybe two, depending on how it looks, because if the road goes in here to the stadium that will be here in the future, maybe it would be cool with like a Pokeball here and a Pokeball there on each side of the road, kind of overlooking the thing. But we will see what I come up with. But I will just get to, you know, digging this stuff away, making a bit of room, and then we'll see what I come up with. And here is the final result. So it got a bit bigger than I expected. And by the way, I'm, I'm standing up here on my chopper right now just to get a bit of view. The, the thing is, I think that uh, when you build something sphere formed, it usually looks uh, quite bad when you get up close. So I just wanted to see how it looked, you know, from, from afar. But this is the final result. It got a bit bigger, as I said, as I was hoping. But the smaller you make a sphere, the harder it is to make it look good. So this is uh, the size I ended up with. I actually initially made it uh, entirely out of uh, andesite and stone, and it looked uh, close up, something like this. But let's also have a quick close up of how it looks now. I think it, it didn't look too good. It was, you could, I guess you could see what it was, but if you didn't know, it was a bit hard. So here you have it close up as well with, uh, now with colors. I built it from concrete and the red is made of red terracotta also i decided to put in some light here just to initially i was planning to leave this white or a shade of white but you know these pokeballs light up whenever they're about to catch something so i figured why not do that here now it's a bit big it, it just barely gets out on the road so i was lucky that i placed it where i did when i started building i guess and also this platform here got quite big as well so now I am quite a kind of cont contemplating if I want to have two of these or not. The idea is that I want some kind of entrance. I haven't really decided if it's going to be like a road leading into it, or we just want to have like a short entrance kind of thing here into the stadium. But of course we would need parking lots and all that as well. But for now I'll leave this one here and I'll consider if I want to build another one. I just like the symmetry of having two. And then maybe I would build it as one of the different Pokeballs. You know, that's quite a lot to choose from. Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball, Quick Ball, Dusk Ball, etc. But if you have two different designs, maybe it also just looks a bit weird. So maybe if I put up another one, I will make it like this. But that is a decision for another video. Anyways, I think that was it for this video. So although we did finish the Pokeball down below me here, I'm not really sure that we will continue working on the Pokemon Stadium just yet. 
I think we've been neglecting uh, our small city here behind us, and I would like to make it a bit more city-ish in lack of a better word. So I think in the next episode, we will start adding a few more buildings and stuff just to make it feel a bit more like a city when we're inside of it. Right now, it still feels like some buildings just popped up in the middle of the Badlands. So let's change that, shall we? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And do remember to hit the, you know, like buttons and subscribe buttons and bells and all that stuff down there. It really helps out. Also, if you have any input on what we should do here, maybe even about the entrance to our Pokemon Stadium here, do let me know down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and you'll see me in the next video. Bye!